Karel at MasterChef Season 3 Top 9. Tonight I'm cooking for six very special guests and I can't wait to take you through the menu and all the cooking process that I've prepared. After MasterChef, I decided to launch my blog, Food is Love, because I truly believe food is love and I think if you cook from your heart, your guests will always enjoy the meal that you prepare. Tonight's dessert is an apple and nougat tart, which is actually the dish I prepared for the cold editions for MasterChef Season 3 and got me into the show. So it's very special to my heart and I hope my guests are going to enjoy it. I have done it a little bit of a twist. I've taken cinnamon infused Gordon's gin and I've prepared um, my apples in, in a simple syrup with a little bit of the, the gin. It smells just amazing and I can't wait for my guests to try it. Um, What's required for this tart is a very simple cheese pastry, butter, flour, egg, and sugar, which I've blind baked for 15 minutes. I've prepared my apples, I've uh, cheated very much so with them, um, bought nougat, um, and I've made a simple custard with some cream, eggs, a little bit of sugar, and some vanilla. So I'm going to put my tart together next. So I'm going to scatter my um, pre cooked apples, and you really don't have to cook this too much because you don't want them to be soggy. So I'm just lightly scattering that. What I have done is I've um, made little knife insertions into my base so that when we pour over the custard, it actually will soak in and become quite um, delicious and yummy. And then I'm going to just blob in my nougat. I like lots of nougat, so you can just add as much as you want. You can also use any type of nougat you like. I love hazelnut and I think it works really well with the apple. So that's hence why I use the, the apple and nougat with the hazelnuts and then when you're done you literally put this all the way give your cream and egg mixture a bit of a, a whisk make sure everything mix up really well and then you just pour it in Now you want, you'll see how the eggy custard um, flows through to all the, the creases and the cracks of the apple and the nougat, which is exactly what you want. And just make sure that everything is full, you don't overflow your tart. Um, we're then going to put this in the oven until it's set. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes, but watch, oven is dependent. And then you can slice, and, slice it and eat warm, but my guests are going to enjoy it cold with some creme fraiche and our cinnamon infused Gordon's gin syrup. For tonight's dinner, I'm doing baby deboned chicken with a thyme and garlic butter, which I've rubbed over my baby chicken. And I've prepped them in my baking trays with some orange sweet potatoes, some carrots, shallots. I have some rosemary, some thyme, and I'm going to slice up some lemons, and I'm going to put them on top of my chicken with some more salt and pepper. Just before preparing and serving, I'm going to crisp them up on top so they're nice and crispy and delicious, and serve that with the potatoes and a beautiful salad. The main ingredient to making gin gin is juniper berries, and um, when I, I created my menu, I, I did some research into what I could use juniper berries with and I have decided to grind my juniper berries into a very fine powder and um, I've actually created a rub with juniper berry powder, black pepper and salt. What I've done is I'm going to take my rub and I'm going to pour this over a beautiful salmon that um, fillet that I got from Willoughby's. So I've rubbed my salmon with my juniper berry and black pepper rub and um, I've actually created a raspberry, mulberry and maple syrup glaze that I'm going to place on top of the salmon and then I'm going to grill it and serve it with a beautiful green salad and avocado as their starter. so excited and happy. I'm off to go have a Gordon's cocktail, but I just want to say a big thank you to 15 and Orange and my very special assistant, Stacey Lee, I wouldn't be able to do it without her. And I can't wait to do this again. Remember, food is love. <laughs>